Well, hi there. Uh, welcome to back to another episode, or another series. Um, this one's on Griffin, Indiana. Now, um, let's start by looking at the map. Now, this is my farm area up up here. So I've got uh, my farm split in two. I have uh, the top section here. I have the house and um, stuff up here. And uh, down in this section here, we've actually got the whole actual um, farm and all the equipment. Now, to start off with, I do own this whole patch here. I own 30 field 35, field 19, field 20, field 21, and field 22 at the moment. Okay, now let's jump in and let's do this... Uh, tour. Uh, the first one we'll do is we'll go up and look at the farmhouse and stuff up there and then we'll go over and check out the rest of the farm. Okay here's the over overview so here we have the house and uh, sheds and stuff like that over there and across the road here we have the actual farm itself. So let's, let's go down, back down here, and if I just go here for a sec, uh, and get out of flight mode, so we can walk, walk the path, we come to the front gates, open up the front gates, watch out for the deer, uh, this is the driveway, so we'll just walk up a little bit faster so we've got a grass field on to the left here um, down in the far corner we have a set of gates so we can access from the other field there's no actual access here to that field you have to go in from the other end and then come back to it now those fields are actually still going to be grass fields I don't know if I'll put sheep in the in these fields or not let me know in the comments down below if you think I should put the sheep on the grass fields not actually in um, crop fields um, once again if you like the, this video please uh, don't forget to smash that like button hit the subscribe button so you can um, get notification on any future videos which I'm um, going to start to do a lot more hopefully um, now to our right we have our, an old horse horse barn and a little field um, debating on to get horses a couple of horses or not drop a comment below um, if you think I should put a couple of horses in just for the, uh, just for fun all right as we walk up walk up towards the house we have we have the far, uh, helicopter over there farmhouse and storage shed well, we'll go over the storage shed first well it's not a storage shed it's what I call the um, what do we call it we call it the uh, hobby shed type hobby shed work shed type thing so here we have one of our race cars um, we've actually got two race cars the same color one um, one there one up on the hoist in this shed we have a motor cr and we've got a spare motor here and we've got the motor there which has come out of that car we're working on at the moment. Now over here we've got our um, 
drag cat drag track slash show track. Uh, and if you're wondering, yes, I do like the color purple. Uh, we've got a little our little uh, off road buggy here. Now this car is going to go over in the, the back shed over there. This is one of my show cars that we've got at the moment. We're going to be getting a couple of more show cars coming through. Everybody does chrome and I thought, nah, uh, black, black and gold, that looks good. So I went with the black and gold. Gold rims, gold trim. So it looks, looks nice. Now, flatbed trailer here, that's for the two, put the race cars on. I am looking to find one that uh, has actually a fully enclosed that will actually take the two cars um, so they don't get scratched on or what's aimed on the way. Now, up around the corner here, right, we'll go around here. We've got, of course, everybody, if you're a millionaire or whatever, has to have their big boats. So of course we've got our our boat here. So when we go fishing or what do stuff in, on the water, we've got a nice boat to travel in. I'll come out of the shed here, and what? Then we've got a trailer here to put our little dirt buggy on and our camper, so we can go camping. And uh, yeah, so we can take a car with us and hoon around or whatever. Uh, if we're not going bugging, we just put a, a little car on there, and so we can go to the shops and that, so we don't have to lug the big, big bus thing around. And of course, what's a farm without uh, having some rubbish and stored stuff in in the yard? So we've got some timber left over from building the shed, some metal left over, uh, some rubbish that we have to throw away sometime, some old cars we found in the uh, in the pond out the back, don't know how they got there but we got them out because of the environment and we've brought them in and just stuck here, got a nice garden here, the trees will grow soon. Uh, this, as I said, this is where we're going to put uh, our show cars locked up. Um, so we can put three in there. Uh, we've got the truck for the trailer over there to uh, hold the uh, trailer for racing. Um, we might be getting an upgrade truck soon. So we have to wait and see. Alright, we're coming out of here. Now this is the car park for our friends to, that's visiting because we've got the lakes, lake part, so like a beach type thing, thing there, so we'll show you that in a minute. We've got another shed here to store vehicles in. Uh, when, when we're doing stuff, we're still doing a few little bits and pieces in here that's got to be finished. Um, the main house, everybody's seen this house. Yeah, we've got my, we've got my vehicle here, um, for the farm and whatever, and the wife's got her car here. Uh, if we go in, uh, we have the wife with our child, talking to her father, uh, one of our friends. Yep, she came out of the bathroom. To open door to, to the steam. All our friends having a few drinks and uh, and that. So out the back here we've got uh, we've got the play equipment there, we've got a basketball court over there and out over here we have our well, if we go, I'll go this way because we've got our little uh, fishing dock type thing where you jump off and whatever in the water um, just as you can see we laid the deck we haven't really cleaned up here 
the grass, so we're still going to do that um, and put a path down down along here to get to. A um, few of our friends here at the beach, on our beach side, and that, so yeah, so that nice little beach area. Not big enough to put the boat in, of course. Alright, so we go from there. I'll just walk around here. As I said, we've got the basketball court here. So we can shoot some hoops. Uh, plenty of lighting, of course, it's for night. Now, what's a million dollar house without a helicopter? Got the helipad here and the helicopter for so we can take our friends for joy flights and stuff like that and have a look around and and so on so really that's the actual walk around through oh, then we got over here if we come over here so you come out the front door got a little round part here where we can drive a car around if, if we want to but we have our nice little centre decoration here in the driveway with nice pretty green um, pretty flowers and a love heart shaped ornament so that's virtually now that's just the farm uh, like the house side of it so we'll go let me speed me running up we'll go running back down the driveway We'll shut those gates for now. Um, and then we'll run down, run down the road here. So we get to the end here, about here. We'll put, go back to the normal speed. Now this is that gate access I was saying about. We've got one gate here and a gate back over there for these fields, so we can mow the lawn or. If we're going to put sheep sheep out in this section here, um, or whatever, because I said we do own that field over over there, so don't didn't, don't want to put the sheep stuff on actual fields, but on the grassland here, I should we have to put the sheep barns and stuff? L leave leave a message in in the comments. Let me know what you think. Okay, now we'll go across over here to the actual farm itself. We have uh, we have uh, the communication um, bureau put a uh, phone tower in the other day. Um, of course, we're getting paid rent for them to have it there, so which is out of the way. We don't really need it on the farm there, so that's fine. It's a bit slow walking through here. Okay. Okay, we'll go. We'll start by going this way. Now, semi truck. When we have our trucks coming off the fields with the crop and stuff, they'll come down this driveway here, up onto the weigh station, so we can have it all weighed. Which we've got the meter up here. A couple of guys standing around uh, working, of course. Now, in here. I do not have actual silo section, so what we've done is we've got a self-selling um, barn where we can sell our crops and whatever, straight away. Um, so, so, it depends, if, if the prices are good, we'll take into the into town to um, different product, um, to do different products. Uh, if not, we'll just sell here. Um, later on, we might um, knock, ooh, might knock the barn down and uh, expand on the side a little bit and put a silo system here. Let me know. What do you reckon? Do I just leave it as a selling point or put a silo system? Let me know in the, in the comments. So anyway. Guy's magical. He was on the ground. Someone took, someone's uh, done magic, and he's in thin air at the moment. 
Okay, the only problem having these figures in on your map, once they're put down, you can't delete them, which is bad because if you do make a mistake like this guy, you can he's stand in thin air and of course you can't do nothing about it. So anyway, we drive through the trucks unload here, and they can drive straight out here, up and around and back out. Over here we've got our fuel trailer, so if the equipment's running low in the field we can jump in the ute, grab the, hook that on, take it out in the field, fill them straight out there. We've got our petrol tank, it's full, and over here we've got the def uh, tanks which is full. Um, now we come up around the corner here. Sorry about the little bit of lag. I think it might be one of the um, bits of machinery or my computers or people on the net in my area. We have our water tank where we get all our water from. Little silo tank. We've got our seed, lime and everything like that in there. Now, we'll start... Uh, where are we going to start? We can start over here at this shed. This shed's got all the tractors and not what. Yeah. So we open up one door. Okay, we've got two, uh, we've got two combines. Um, at, uh, so we've got two combines for the field work. We have our lime spreader. And we've got our fertiliser spreader. We have our... Um, case uh, tr magnum tractor here and we've got another two tractors here to pull the machine now as you can see we've still got plenty of floor room for more equipment and, s and stuff so that's that's good in one sense All right, we'll just get out of the shed drop that We'll go over to this shed here. Yeah, it's a bit laggy, I think. Let's back up so we don't get hit. Okay, in this shed here, we have our truck and trailer for on the field. Now, this truck will stay as is. Um, it's only the other truck we're going to change. We have our uh, Demco um, grain grain cart. Right, and he went blank then. Over here we got half of the um, seed fork for our fields. Over there, we've got at the back there, we've got our is that the cultivator or the plow. Yes. I think it's the plow, I think. Might be wrong. I always, I always have the service truck. Okay, over around here we've got our two headers. And we've got the uh, corn headers over there. So, then we go around over here. Into this shed here. There's but I mean puppy, I was wondering where you got to. In here we've got the rest of our seed hawk. We've got our tree chopper. If we go to chop some trees down. I hear you, but I can't see you mate. <laughs> uh, we've got our se uh, another cedar, so we can plant corn or whatever. Um, and, our, and we've got the roller. As you can still see, we've still got plenty of floor space for if we need to put any more equipment or stuff. Are you going to close? Yep. I'll we'll just run over here and we'll just feed the pups. Here you go, come over and have some food dude. Okay, now we've... Oh! We've got here, 
well, I forgot to tell you, on the other side, we've, on this side here we've got our solar panel um, stuff. Now, I'll get back to the other side in a minute. Now, we go down this little ramp area, and we've got another tractor with the our, um, manure. Um, truck with our water. We've got our fr uh, fruit, um, fruit trees. Uh, what's that? So we've got. What have we got? We've got apples. We've got cherries, lemons, oranges, pears, and we've got plum trees. So this is our little orchard we've got going. We've got some workers here, of course, cleaning up and working around it and that. So this is our other part of the farm. Now, that's all the farm. Now, there's one thing I actually forgot to show you, which what I'm going to do is if I go here, and I'm going to flight mode, because it's easier for me to, what's saying? I'll go up. I'll spin around. This is the ordinary shot of this. So if I go backwards, so there's the actual farm overview. Now, without getting myself chopped up, let me fly back over here. I forgot to show you at the back of this um, property here, we also got another um, solar panel area just so we've got enough energy. Uh, enough power to run everything around well guys this is the grass field overlay now as I said I didn't know if to put my sheep down here at like, even if I put the sheep down here at the back here and then had grass field here and that just let me know what you think I should do um, yeah, uh, I, I like, I don't like doing cows, I like doing sheep and the chicken, chickens and sheep are the bit, my main um, animals I use, like to use on the, on these, on the game. So let me know what you think, if I should put a um, sheep here, I could actually put chickens on that field there, there. Um, because I got access there, I can get to the chickens and stuff like that. And I can also, if I wanted to, put a little gate there to walk, so we can walk in with feed or whatever. Um, so that's the overview of the farm. Then let me, if I go back, so we can get the whole. What's saying? We we'll go higher up and then get the whole layout of the farm. There you go. Well, guys, that's going to be it. Thanks very much for watching. Please, please remember, hit, hit that uh, like button, subscribe, leave a comment below. Okay guys, thanks for watching, bye for now.